Hello friends, welcome back to Learn It Get Tutorials. This is our second video in our Jenkins tutorial series. And these are the topics we are going to cover throughout this series. Also, we will add more topics in the future. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Jenkins on Ubuntu, also on CentOS 8. In addition to that, we will configure Jenkins with few other required changes like installing recommended plugins and providing sudo access to Jenkins and also changing Jenkins user shell so that this will help you in performing any task directly on Jenkins servers if required. You can get all these commands and steps involved in this video from our blog. Links related to this tutorial series and documents will be mentioned in the description so you can make use of it. Before getting to the topic, just a small request to those who are watching this video from our YouTube channel for the first time. We have already uploaded lot of videos and tutorial series on Ansible, Docker, Kubernetes and other technologies. Please have a look. If you are interested in learning, then do subscribe now and click near the bell icon for more interesting and useful videos. Let's get started. So I have two servers. One is installed with Ubuntu 20. The other one is installed with CentOS 8. And both of these servers have internet access so that I can install the required packages. Also, I have the admin privilege. First, we'll install Jenkins on Ubuntu and we'll do the rest of the configuration. Then finally, we'll go to the CentOS. So this is the first command I'm going to execute. That is to update the repository. Now, we'll install Java because Java is a required packages for Jenkins. So I'll be using apt-get to install this Java. So Java is installed. Let's verify the version. So we have installed the Java version of 11. Let's add Jenkins repository. Okay, so I have added the Jenkins key and I have added the repository to source list. All these commands will be available from our blog. As you have added a new repository, we need to update the, the repository again using the command apt-get update. Once you have updated your repository, we can start installing Jenkins using apt-get command. So the Jenkins is installed. You can verify with the dpkg command. So we have installed the Jenkins package and the version of uh, Jenkins is 2.414.2. Let's start and enable Jenkins service so that we can access it through the browser. Let's Let's check the status of the Jenkins service. It is loaded and active. So this is my IP through which I am going to access this Jenkins. IP address colon 8080 and this is the default Jenkins application port. So this is a welcome screen on which you will be prompted to enter few informations like you have to unlock Jenkins and you have to create user admin and you have to install recommended plugins. So we'll start with uh, one by one. First, let's unlock Jenkins. The instructions will be over here. Okay, this is the file that contains the secret to unlock Jenkins. Use sudo. The copy the secret enter the value over here and just click on continue. If you are not able to access your Jenkins along with this port number 8080, probably you might have a firewall enabled on your Ubuntu. On my machine, it is inactive. If that is enabled, 
then you have to allow a port called 8080 using this command. As it is inactive on my machine, I don't need to worry about firewall. So coming back to the initial setup, we have unlocked the Jenkins. Now it will be prompting you to uh, customize the Jenkins like whether you want to install suggested plugins or you want to customize the plugins. Okay, I will go with install suggested plugins and this is the recommended plugins. Okay, click on it and it will start installing the plugins. Sometimes these plugins will be failed, but that's fine. Whatever plugins we need in future, we can install it manually. It will take some time, depends on your internet bandwidth. Okay, so the plugins are installed. Now we need to create an admin user and this is your first admin user. Okay, let me put DevOps as a username and put some password. Okay, DevOps administrator and uh, email ID. Once this is done, you can click on save and continue. If you didn't create this uh, admin user called DevOps or something else, then you have to use the default admin as a user. It's up to you, doesn't matter. Okay, so this is the Jenkins URL for us. Already we have used this URL to access it. Click on save and finish. That's it. Jenkins is ready. Start using Jenkins. So this is your home page of your Jenkins after you have logged in. Since this is a freshly installed Jenkins, we have to do few other additional configurations to make your Jenkins more strong and stable. So the changes I'm going to make on Jenkins, like I'll be providing the sudo access. Also, I will change the user shell. I will tell you why. Any users created through this Jenkins console are only to manage Jenkins through web browser. But by default on your system, you can see the user called Jenkins created on your operating system and this is the only user will run everything in background even if you have logged in using any users on the console. So this user Jenkins is created during the installation of Jenkins at the operating system level. But this is a non root user. If you want to perform any high level task or any other services that wants to integrate with Jenkins that would require admin access for this Jenkins user. Considering that I am going to provide a pseudo access. Also, you need to make sure that the user shell of Jenkins is bin bash or any other shell that will allow you to log into the user so that you can switch over to the user called Jenkins and you can perform any administration task with the user called Jenkins using CLI. Let me switch over to Jenkins and it is asking me to enter the password. I have not set password for Jenkins. Okay, I have set the password for Jenkins user on the operating system level. Let me switch over to Jenkins. I'm able to log in with the user called Jenkins. And if you run any sudo command, it will prompt you to enter the password and if you give any commands on the Jenkins jobs that required the uh, admin privileges then it will prompt you to enter the password over there as well. So in order to avoid this better you provide sudo access with no password prompting. Let me log out and use sudo vim. There is a sudo your file. Just open it and here you can see the user entries just copy and paste here add the username called Jenkins and um, here add a parameter called no password colon so this will not ask you to you know enter the pseudo password okay just save and exit from this file again switch over to Jenkins 
this is a user password all right let me run some sudo command that's it it is not asked me to enter the sudo password perfect now you can use any admin related command along with sudo on your jenkins job that's all the configuration we have to be performed on uh, jenkins so we have installed and configured the required changes of jenkins on ubuntu server let's jump into the centos again um, we we'll start with update the repository okay let's install java okay now verify the java version so we have installed java 11 let's add jenkins repository and import the key for the jenkins repository now then we can install jenkins once the jenkins is installed let's start and enable the service let's check the status of the jenkins service so it is loaded and active so we can access our jenkins through browser since this is centos by default the firewall will be enabled so that let's add the jenkins port number 8080 before that let me get the ip of this centos machine and we'll try to access it to the browser i am not able to access it the firewall might be blocking it so let's go back to the terminal and use the firewall cmd command to add port number 8080 and make it permanent and also we need to reload the firewall rule let's try to access it again now we are able to access it okay again this is a welcome screen we have to unlock jenkins and we have to create admin user also we need to install the suggested plugins as we have done for ubuntu jenkins so i will skip this part additionally we have done some changes on ubuntu like we have you know enabled the uh, sudo access also you know we made sure the user shell is bin bash or not also we have set the jenkins user password okay so the jenkins user non root user so obviously we have to enable the sudo access and um, if you see the shell is bin false so jenkins user will not be able to log into this shell let's change this also we'll set a password to jenkins user okay i'm logged into jenkins user if you run any sudo related command you know it will prompt you to enter the sudo password get back to root user and open the sudo io file and make the similar entry what we have you know done on ubuntu server That's it for this video. Hope you have got an idea how to install and configure Jenkins on Ubuntu as well as on CentOS. See you in the next video. Till then, keep practicing and have fun.